Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back for another day of magic. Today I have a very interesting self-working card trick to show you. I'm going to give you a quick performance, then I'll give you the tutorial. So to begin, just introduce your deck of cards to your spectator. Uh, they can shuffle up and mix it any way they want. Um, you're going to need five cards selected, so you can have one spectator take five out, or five different spectators take one card each. It doesn't matter what cards anybody takes, so I'm just going to take... I actually want the two jokers as well, because this trick does involve ripping some cards, guys. So if you are going to perform this, I would make it an occasional performance, not something I would do on a regular basis. Uh, unless you can get cheap decks of cards where you live, then that's cool too. Anyways, you take the five cards, and you're going to rip all five down the middle. Or you can have a spectator uh, if they can do it. Just like so. And once again, I'm just going to show you. We still have five cards. One, two, three, four, five. I've done nothing weird. Uh, we're going to spell out a quick sentence. And that sentence is, will the cards match? So what I'm going to do is have you select any pile you want. I'm going to start spelling the word will. You can have me stop at any time you'd like, and I'll switch to the next pile. So which one would you like to start out with? This one here. We're going to spell out will. W, stop. I, L, L, okay? Now we're just going to set these two cards here, or these two halves of a card here. We're going to spell the word the now. So which pile would you like me to start with? This one again. T, H, stop. E. Okay, so we're going to take the next two halves of a card and set them right there. Now we're going to spell the word cards. So which pile would you like me to start with? This one. C, A, stop. R, D, stop. S. So I'm going to take these two halves of a card and set them right there. So now we're going to spell the words match. So which pile? This one here. M, A, T, stop. C, stop. H. So, will the cards match? And I'm going to take these two halves of a card and set them there, and of course our remaining two halves and set them there. Now, wouldn't it be amazing you guys stop me anytime you want while I was spelling the word, and you could have me switch piles anytime you'd like. We're going to turn over each card now and see will the cards match. The first one we have the Three of Clubs. Secondly, we have the Ace of Diamonds. Third is a joker, fourth, jack of spades, and fifth, the other joker. So that's the performance, guys. Here is the tutorial. Okay, so for the tutorial, uh, what I did in the performance is I have a ton of extra red and blue bicycle cards that are from older decks. So I took two jokers, which I don't have another one here, but... I just took some random cards from my extras because I didn't want to ruin the cards that belong to the actual deck. But uh, you can use any five cards you want. And I actually think I have two Jokers in this deck still, so I'm going to use those as well. But you can take any five cards you like. And let's see, there's one and two. And your spectator can choose these freely, obviously. Uh, I have them on top in the performance video, but anyway, you take five cards from the deck, any ones you like, and what you do is you tell your spectator that you're just going to rip all five cards down the middle, okay? And they can do this themselves if they'd like to, just like that, have them set on the table. Now what you do is you tell your spectator, well, you're showing them you still have five cards, okay? And you want to take either one of these piles here and count down one, two, three four, five, but you're telling them, it's it's like showing them you still have five cards, basically, right? So, what you've done, obviously, now is reverse the order of the cards. So, now it's the five, the joker, the nine, the joker, and the joker. They're not really going to realize that you just uh, reversed the order of half of the cards. It's it's To them, it looks like you're just showing them that you're counting out you still have five cards, right? So if you spell the sentence, will the cards match? And I'm sure you can use any uh, four-letter word, three-letter word, five-letter word, and five-letter word. 
right? I'm sure you can use anything you want to come up with, but will the cards match is the sentence that is normally used. So you explain to them that they can choose any pile to start off with, and you're going to spell the word will. They can stop you at any time and switch to the next pile. So choose one is will, W, I, L, stop, L. And guys, they truly can stop you at any point and have you switch to another pile. It doesn't matter. When you finish spelling a word, set both piles on the table. Take the top two halves of a card and set them to the side. Now you're going to spell the word the, T, H, E. And they can stop you and switch you if they like to. It doesn't matter. And the word cards, C, A, R, D, S. And you're going to take those top two halves and set them. And then match is M, A, T, C, H. And you're going to take these two halves. And then the remainder is that right there. And you can go into the story of wouldn't it be amazing. I had you switch piles if you wanted to. You want to recap everything that happened to make it seem even more impossible. And at this point, guys, it is self-working. And you have all the cards matching up just like that. But yeah, guys, that's the tutorial. Uh, use this trick. Have fun with it. I wouldn't use it consistently as a trick to do all the time or you're going to be ruining a lot of cards. Unless you can get cheap decks of cards where you live uh, and don't mind ripping them all the time. It's a good occasional uh, opener trick for your spectators. Then you can get into something more uh, dynamic that uses more slides. Uh, but it's a very good and powerful warm-up effect for your spectators. But yeah, if you enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It's greatly appreciated. I'm posting new videos every single day, so be sure to come back tomorrow and check out the new video. But until then, again, thank you all so much for joining me today, and I will see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.